Yo, hello everyone! In this video, we will show you how to add a custom code to your website on Webflow using the HTML embed element. Whether you are a new user of Webflow or a beginner, I will show you how you can add tracking code, CSS styles, or, or third party integrations, and all of that in a couple minutes. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, the first thing that I will need you guys to do is simply go ahead and launch your browser. Right from here, go to the URL section on your browser and then search for Webflow. So you can just Google it like that. And let me just remove this and add English so you can have the actual English version of this website. Now click on the first link and they will take you here. Simply now, all you need to do is go to this view dashboard and they will take you to the dashboard if you have an account. Let me show you how to create one real quick. So I will sign out of my account right by clicking to sign out of my account here. So here we go. And then they will take me to like the main page. This is how it looks like. I can just remove this to show you how it looks like really in depth. And here it is. So you can either get started for free or you can go check their pricing and choose a plan from their pricing plans. So let's check their plans first in case you'd like to go for one first. Here you will have four kind of plans or three main plans. There is of course the basic, CMS and the business one. So each one of these has their own features. For example, the basic has a custom domain, zero CMS items, 500 monthly form submissions and 50 gigabyte bandwidth. The CMS has 2K CMS items, 1K monthly form submissions, 200 gigabyte bandwidth and three content editors. And the last one, which is the business, has 10k CMS items, 2.5k monthly form submission, 400 gigabyte bandwidth, and 10 content editors. Well, there is of course, beside those three plans, the free one, which has a webflow.io domain, so you don't really get a custom domain, which is a .com domain name, and 50 CMS items, 50 form submissions, and 1 gigabyte bandwidth. So. And in the other side, you will find the enterprise uh, plan. The enterprise plan, of course, will be much expensive than all of these. And it is very customizable as you'd like. You will get custom domain name. You will have more than 10k CMS items. It is depending on how many you ask for. A custom monthly form submission. A custom bandwidth. A custom content editors. And uptime SLAs in here, of course. Now, either you want to go for one of these site plans or uh, workspace plans, uh, they are kind of different, so it is all up to you to look for them. You can see all the features in details over here, the same goes for this one. So, you have to really read about them step by step, one by one, so you can decide which one to go for in case you were interested. And in general, you will find general and e-commerce. So there is so many plans, guys. Uh, it is kind of um, complicated for you to get which one to go for. So I highly recommend you guys to actually go through the features one by one in your free time and then read them all so you can get uh, which one to go for. Or you can just ask, for example, ChatGPT for the best plan for your own uh, objects. Now let's get our free plan because we are going to go with the free version. So let's create another account using the free version. Here you can just connect using your Gmail account or use a work email address. So I'm going with my Gmail account and I'm going to choose my email. And from here guys, all you gotta do is delete some, let me just delete one of these. So here we go. I am going to delete it forever. I have deleted it successfully and from here just click on new site and you will be able to create a new site here you might find four templates a blank site portfolio business and store and below you can find some paid templates here you can see them all and here some free templates with like some images into them so you can adjust them all by yourself 
For example, we can try this one and select it. And here you just have to choose the site name. So test and create site. And as you can see, it has been created successfully. Now all you have to do is wait until it is fully loaded. And here we go. Started. Here we go. And now right after we've added the template and we open the website and everything is ready and set up. Here, as you may see, you will find some components. So here, this is the body. And if you notice, you will notice that these are like layers. So if you are familiar with Photoshop, this will be easy for you to do. So here you might see uh, components. This is the navigation bar and the footer. Here there is navigator, there is the pages that you have, the CMS, the users, and here uh, the commerce or the shop style, and here the documents and assets that you have. If we clicked here on add elements, you can go and search here for whatever elements you'd like to add. So there is layout, there is basic, you can add here some link block, uh, there is all the way down here some typography, as you may see, and finally here you may notice there is some kind of uh, e-commerce stuff that you can add, some media stuff, and here is some forms. So these forms you will have here, label, input, etc, select, recapture, submit, and finally here you will find this embed category where we can add your code. Unfortunately, you can't really add it if you are on the normal plan. As you may notice here, in order for you to get to that plan and to actually start using the emit code, you have to pay one of these kind of plans. There is standard plus and advanced. You can go for 29, 74, 220. It depends on what kind of plan would you like to go and the feature that it has and the benefit that you want. So if your only goal is to add an embed code, I highly suggest you to only go for the standard plan, which is this one, for 30 bucks per month, add your code, and then just like that, leave it there. Don't pay the next month because the code will be there forever. It will not be removed from your website. Other than that, uh, you can also go for the 74 plus uh, plan which has best for higher volume businesses so here as you can see you may find the embed code so let's just actually for the embed code first so let's go this embed if i can find it so as you can see i have searched for the keyword but it doesn't show me so that means that every plan of these has the embed uh, feature in it so you don't have to worry about it so here it is custom code integration it is on all of these plans so you don't have to worry but uh, it depends on what you want exactly from each plan and of course there is the e-commerce site and the normal website so make sure to go for the one that you are actually want to go for here because you may see custom code is not on the basic or i mean the starter you can get get it for the basic if you'd like it so 14 dollars which is much more cheaper than the e-commerce website which is 29th per month so that's an idea to go for if you'd like to do something else beside paying 29 you can pay the half of it which is 14 dollar per month and if you choose to pay per year of course you will have it a discount of 22 percent so this is what you are going to aim for and how to add it simply just click on this button in Bitcoin, uh, in Bit logo, and then just drag it whatever you'd like to add the code, and then you can go, for example, ask ChatGPT for a code or create your own code or get it from whatever source you have and integrate it in the embed code section, and you will be ready to go. So, yeah, guys, that was completely it. That's how you can add the embed code to your Webflow website. I hope you like this video, and see you guys in the next tutorial.